He is known for his influential political and philosophical thought that had a significant impact on intellectual, economic, and political history. He is recognized for his critical theories about society, economics, and politics, which collectively form Marxism. He is Karl Marx. In the bustling city of London, amidst the tumultuous 19th century, lived a man whose ideas would shape the course of history. His name was Karl Marx, a philosopher, economist, and revolutionary whose critical theories would challenge the very foundations of society. Born in Trier, Germany, Marx was a brilliant scholar who studied law and philosophy, delving deep into the complexities of human existence. Marx's journey took him on a path of intellectual exploration, where he dissected the intricate dynamics of society, economics, and politics. He believed that human societies were shaped by class conflict, with the ruling classes controlling the means of production and the working classes laboring to sustain it. This conflict, he argued, was the driving force behind the transformations of socio-economic systems. With a critical approach called historical materialism, Marx predicted that capitalism, like its predecessors, would face internal tensions that would eventually lead to its downfall. He envisioned a future where the working class, enlightened by their collective consciousness, would rise up and seize political power. Their triumph would pave the way for a classless society, where producers would join forces in a free association, free from the chains of capitalism. Marx's ideas were revolutionary, and he actively advocated for their implementation. He believed that the working class should organize and engage in a proletarian revolutionary action to dismantle the capitalist system and bring about socio-economic emancipation. His writings, including the infamous Communist Manifesto and the monumental Das Kapital, sparked debates, inspired movements, and shaped the course of intellectual, economic, and political history. Karl Marx, a man of profound intellect and unwavering conviction, left an indelible mark on the world. His ideas continue to resonate and influence generations of thinkers, labor unions, artists, and political parties worldwide. Whether celebrated or criticized, Marx's work is hailed as one of the cornerstones of modern social science, forever shaping our understanding of society in our pursuit of a more equitable world. Karl Marx, the protagonist of our story, was an influential philosopher and social thinker, whose ideas continue to shape our understanding of society. One of Marx's key contributions was his critique of capitalism and his focus on the exploitation of the working class. He famously described capitalism as the despotism of capital, highlighting the power dynamics and inequalities inherent in the system. Marx believed that human history is characterized by the transformation of human nature, encompassing both individuals and material objects. He argued that humans have both actual and potential selves, and through labor and the transformation of nature, they can realize their full potential. Marx emphasized the importance of meaningful labor, where individuals can shape the world around them and express their true nature. However, Marx also recognized the problem of alienation in capitalism. He observed that under capitalism, people become detached from their own labor power, their capacity to transform the world. This alienation, according to Marx, leads to a spiritual loss and a sense of disconnection from one's true nature. He referred to this phenomenon as commodity fetishism, where the products of labor, or commodities, appear to have a life of their own, overshadowing the humans who produce them. Marx also delved into the concept of ideology, which he saw as reflecting the interests of a particular class at a specific time in history. He argued that ideologies, including religious beliefs, often serve to maintain the status quo and perpetuate the dominant class's control over the means of production. Marx believed that religion, for example, highlighted the struggles and aspirations of the working class and was shaped by the material conditions in which people lived. Furthermore, Marx envisioned a revolutionary transformation of society, where capitalism would give way to communism. He argued that between these two systems, there would be a transitional period known as the dictatorship of the proletariat. During this period, the working class would hold political power and work towards socializing the means of production. Marx acknowledged that this transition might involve force, as he believed that the ruling class would not willingly relinquish their power. Marx's philosophy and social thought offer insights into the inherent contradictions and power dynamics within capitalist societies. By understanding these concepts, we can critically examine our own lives and the structures that shape our society. Marx's ideas encourage us to question the status quo and strive for a more equitable and just world. Karl Marx, a name that would go down in history as one of the most influential philosophers and political thinkers of all time. But before his revolutionary ideas would shape the world, Marx had a humble beginning. Born on May 5, 1818, in the ancient city of Trier, Marx came from a family of Jewish heritage who had converted to Christianity. His father, Heinrich Marx, was a lawyer, and his mother, Henriette Pressburg, came from a prosperous business family. 
Raised in an environment of enlightenment and liberal ideals, Marx's father was deeply interested in the philosophies of Immanuel Kant and Voltaire. As a child, Marx received a secular education and grew up in a comfortable upper-middle-class household. However, his father's conversion to the Evangelical Church of Prussia reflected the changing times and the abrogation of Jewish emancipation. Marx's childhood was largely unremarkable, but his thirst for knowledge and passion for ideas began to emerge during his education at Trier High School. His headmaster, Hugo Wittenbach, was a friend of his father and employed liberal humanist teachers. The distribution of liberal literature among the students led to a police raid and reforms at the school, fueling Marx's early exposure to political activism. In 1835, at the age of 16, Marx embarked on a new journey as he enrolled at the University of Bonn. Although his desire was to study philosophy and literature, his father insisted on a more practical field like law. Marx's time at the university was marked by his involvement in the Poets Club, a group of political radicals monitored by the authorities. He also joined the Trier Tavern Club, where he engaged in passionate discussions and even served as co-president. However, Marx's academic performance suffered, and his father decided to transfer him to the University of Berlin, known for its rigorous and intellectual environment. It was in Berlin that Marx's ideas would truly take shape and lay the foundation for his future works. Karl Marx, a young and ambitious student, found himself captivated by the world of philosophy during his time in Berlin in the 1830s. Although studying law, he believed that, without philosophy, nothing could be accomplished. Marx's thirst for knowledge led him to the works of the recently deceased German philosopher George Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel, whose ideas were the subject of intense debate among European intellectuals at the time. In Berlin, Marx joined a group called the Doctors' Club, where he engaged in discussions about Hegelian ideas. Through this club, he became acquainted with a radical group known as the Young Hegelians, who challenged established society, politics, and religion from a left-wing perspective. Marx developed a close friendship with Adolf Ruttenberg and found himself drawn to the critical approach of the young Hegelians, who, like him, questioned Hegel's metaphysical assumptions. During this period, Marx's father passed away, resulting in financial difficulties for the family. However, Marx cherished his father's memory and sought solace in his teachings. He expressed his emotions through various literary works, including a short novel, a drama, and love poems dedicated to his wife, Jenny von Westphalen. Marx's intellectual pursuits also led him to collaborate with Bruno Bauer on editing Hegel's philosophy of religion. In 1841, he completed his doctoral thesis, The Difference Between the Democritian and Epicurean Philosophy of Nature. This groundbreaking work aimed to demonstrate the superiority of philosophy over theology. However, conservative professors at the University of Berlin found his ideas controversial, prompting Marx to submit his thesis to the more liberal University of Jena, where he earned his PhD. Despite his academic achievements, Marx faced roadblocks in pursuing an academic career due to the government's growing opposition to classical liberalism and the young Hegelians. Undeterred, he moved to Cologne in 1842 and embarked on a career in journalism. Marx wrote for the radical newspaper Rheinische Zeitung, where he expressed his early views on socialism and developed an interest in economics. Marx's critical stance towards both right-wing European governments and figures within the liberal and socialist movements drew the attention of government censors. Each issue of the newspaper had to be scrutinized for potentially seditious material. Frustrated by the limitations imposed on his work, Marx lamented, our newspaper has to be presented to the police to be sniffed at. In 1843, the Russian monarchy requested the banning of an article published by Rheinisch Zeitung that strongly criticized their rule. The Prussian government complied, effectively ending Marx's career as a journalist for the newspaper. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.